Benjamin Netanyahu has informed Israel's president of his success in forming a coalition, making way for the swearing in of the most right-wing and anti-Arab government in the history of the country. The announcement from Netanyahu came minutes after he reached a coalition pact with the religious Zionism party, an ultra-nationalist group headed by Mazenac settler Bezalel Smotrich, who has been given wide powers in the occupied West Bank. The agreement includes a reform aimed at weakening the Supreme Court and other checks and balances, according to party sources quoted in the Israeli media. A restrictive definition of a Jew also is included therein, which automatically makes them eligible for citizenship under Israel's law of return. The radical government is due to be sworn in by 2nd January. According to a bill passed by the parliament, the coalition shall be including other extremist figures on the far right whose stated goals are to weaken the judicial system and further entrench the occupation of the Palestinian territories. This has greatly expanded the authority over the police of the incoming National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gwir, the firebrand head of the Jewish Power Party and a disciple of the late anti-Arab rabbi Mir Kahane. Kahane advocated replacing the Israeli system with the one based on Jewish law. Ben Guir, who was convicted of incitement to racism and support for terrorism, said that he had abandoned some of Kahane's stances during the campaign, but many believe that was a gambit to avoid disqualification and to appeal to more voters. Analysts predict the upcoming government to be of immense disaster for the country if Netanyahu were unable or unwilling to reign in the radical parties to whom he conceded unprecedented powers during negotiations. Lawyers say that the bill is bound to open doors to further deaths of the Palestinians in the occupied West Bank at the hands of militarized police units. Owing to the designations of the bill being broad, it also exposes liberal Jewish opponents of the government, Arab citizens and the LGBTQ community to foster potential abuse in Israel. Ben Guer, who campaigned on a plan to expel the disloyal Israeli citizens, has vowed to use his post to create a so-called order in the face of what the right has said is a grave internal security crisis in Arab communities inside Israel. However, the bill can still be somewhat modified before its second and third readings. In a more practical sense of it, opposition lawmakers claim that the bill resting powers from the commissioner and putting them in Ben Guer's hands is one of the most dangerous manifestations of an Israel changing rapidly for the worse owing to Netanyahu's return to power. Netanyahu, on the other hand, is being widely criticized for allegedly caving in to the radical right to ensure the legislation is passed altering the judiciary.